You're a man. You can't have an opinion on I can't have an opinion because I'm a man? Right. What if I identify as a woman? Have a nice night, asshole. <laughs> right, what about the nine male justices who gave women the right to have an abortion? What about their opinion on it? <laughs> All right. So we're out here. We got some anti-vaxxers. And uh, it's pretty cold out. We got the Ushanka. We got Aldo behind the camera today. Cameraman Medan taking a leave of absence. Blending in a little bit with the Russian hat because, you know, they're not good at feeding their citizens, but they are good at making hats. Pretty cozy, not going to lie. Head's pretty toasty. So we'll talk to some anti-vaxxers. We'll talk to some protesters. We'll figure out exactly what's going on on impeachment day. So pretty excited. Well, I'm directly talking about the executive branch of our government right now. How do you think it's operating like a circus? Um, pretty much all the insults and the lies and the, the things that degrade Americans that have a different opinion from the current president. What kind of lies are you talking about? I don't think we have enough time for that. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So what would, you, what would you guys like to see happen then? Like what are you protesting for? Are you in favor of impeachment or removal or what? I'm just here to see what's going on. Yeah, okay. well, thanks for talking to us, man. I appreciate that. Very epic. Very epic. She wanted, she wanted to cover her own guy's face. Yeah, I know. No, I was trying to have a conversation with uh, with my African-American over there, and she didn't want it to happen. Uh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? So, kind of a bummer. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I ask why you're out here freezing tonight? <laughs> protesting Trump's appearance here in Battle Creek, Michigan. What exactly are you protesting besides his appearance? Do you like him? No, I do not. Why is that? I, I don't like his character. That pretty much sums it up. What about his character don't you like? Everything. That's why he's getting a lump of coal, because... That's exactly why he's getting a lump of coal. Do you have that on you? I don't have it on me. I should have, but I came ill prepared at the last minute. And so you plan to, on Christmas Eve, go down the chimney of the White House and deliver to him that lump of coal? Absolutely. Do you think that might be an issue of the Secret Service? I'm, I'm a stealth individual. Uh -huh. Secret Service cannot touch me. That's true. You, you don't report to them. Your allegiance is to the North. Hello. Hello. You look freezing. <laughs> what are you out here for? Um, to protest for Donald Trump because I don't like Donald Trump. Why don't you like Donald Trump? Because I think he's racist. How is he racist? Because he sits there and like downs like Mexicans and tries to build a border for no reason. Why is building a border wall racist? Because like, the, if a me like what if the Mexicans are like um like really in danger or something and they try to come here for like help and like it like they can't because of the border. That's racist. Yeah, because they're trying to send them back to the country they came from. Yeah. That's not racist. That's just having a border. Do you know what happens if you try and go to Canada? They'll send you back. Oh, but like I just think he's racist because like the colors and like I think he's low-key disrespectful to women because the way he be talking to women. Like what? Like he be talking like for like no no reason. Like he be sitting there saying that like about like the, his daughters and stuff. Like it like how he said he would f his daughter if like yeah. You mean he said his daughter was a nice looking young lady and he'd probably be dating her that one? Yeah, but he said other stuff about his daughter. Like what? Like a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't really know, because like, I don't watch news like that, but like, yeah. How old are you? I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> Is this protest organized by Refuse Fascism? What? Was this protest organized by Refuse Fascism? I don't know what you're talking about. This I... protest, was it organized by your organization? Not my organization. You're not with Refuse Fascism? I came down here as a private citizen okay. to demonstrate my the way this so-called president has been an embarrassment to us on the world stage. He's lied countless times. He's just another rich person that doesn't care about us. Do you really think this is the best impeachment ever? Is this your favorite? Uh-huh. Yeah. Why is that? I live through Nixon. Mm -hmm. I was going to say Nixon. Yeah. That was good. Why is this one better than Nixon, do you think? 
I don't know if it's any better or any worse. Well, that's true. She was the one who made the claim with the sign that it was the best impeachment ever. Nixon's didn't threaten our national security. He just did a stupid thing. Broke into the Democratic headquarters and tried to lie about it. What do you think about the Clinton impeachment? You know what? Everybody lies about sex. He shouldn't have done it. And it was a, it was a charge that... I don't think it should have gone to impeachment. He lied about sex. He was Are you a, from RT or what? Sorry? Are you from RT? What's RT? Russia Today, the network. I'm not, no, I just think I they make good hats. Hat, you know? No, I'm not the one who colluded. That is not me. <laughs> the righteous path of an e-boy. I can't feel my toes. My Yushchenko is failing to keep my ears warm. It's like Stalingrad all over again. You know, if we don't stand up, and demand a better world, we're not going to get one. Do you think it's the rich people's jobs to provide to us a better world? I think it's their job to stop stealing. How are they stealing? Hard-working people. How do they steal the wealth from the working people? We all, nobody makes it on their own. We all make it because of other people helping us. So we need to share equally for what resources are available. We need to educate ourselves and learn how many people can be in a given area based upon the resources that are available and, and live within those means and to then share equally with the wealth that that area can provide. Do you think there's a problem with sharing wealth equally because people tend to have different abilities and skill levels? If you are given, if you are born with a particular skill, isn't that in itself a blessing? Can't you be happy and wouldn't you like to live in a world where what you did was based on your skills rather than what you made or who you knew or what family? I think what you make is based on your skills though, isn't it? No. It's, it's all about who you know. I've worked many years. I'm 62 years old, almost 63. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where, where are the Nazis? Where are the Nazis? Are you one? I don't think. I know this is this, this hat fought against Nazis. I'm joking, bro. So what are you out here doing tonight? I'm protesting for myself. Protesting against Donald Trump? Yes. And, and the Nazis? And Pence, yes. Are they Nazis? I don't think they're Nazis. Other people can't be though. Who do you think are Nazis here? The people that are racist. Who do you think is racist here? There are multiple people here that are racist. You can't ask me a broad question like that. I'm just that. wondering, do you think it's all like the Trump supporters? Those are the racist people? Is that what I said? I don't think so. I'm trying to ask. Like I'm trying to figure out who you think are racist. Oh, I didn't give you an okay to do that. So you did not consent. On. You did not consent to my question. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. All right. Have a nice night, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that this regime is a fascist regime then, just judging off the side? This science? regime is a fascist regime. Which components of it? See itself is at stake here. How do you think it's a fascist regime? Like, what parts of it would you describe as fascist? The fact that he uh, says he's the only one that can get the job done. He will not get the job done by himself. He will get the job done through the hard work and dedication of other people, probably despite him and not because of him. Are there any other parts that you would describe as fascist, or is that the biggest one? Well, the way he treats the press, that's the first step, is you try to discredit the press, and in that way, you dupe the people into thinking that they can't be trusted, and then they're, they're more gullible than to believe your lies. Do you think that might have anything to do with the fact that they like overwhelmingly cover him negatively? I think human nature tends towards the negative, unfortunately. But we're supposed to be better than that. We're supposed to fight for what's right. And what troubles me most about this country is it's become a matter of winning regardless. No matter what, you got to win. And it used to be there was a code. It used to be people had that the journey getting there was as important as the end of the journey. And we used to, I don't know, there used, just used to seem to be more love. Yo. Refuse fascism. Boo fascism. Thank you. Sorry? Are you filming both sides? Uh, not particularly. We've just been over here mainly. It's a bit more interesting, I think. On our side? Yeah, I'd say so. Can I ask uh, what questions you're asking? Just why people are out here, what they believe about President Trump, stuff like that. Okay. 
Do you have an opinion? Uh, yeah, he's a face. That's not I could. He's a face. Why is he that? Because he's a racist ass white. Why is he that? Because he does a lot of hateful things to brown people of color. Like what? Like lock them in cages and leave them to die of influenza. You know Obama did that too. Yeah, he did. Was Obama a face? Uh, no, he's a little less of a face, but some of the things that he did were. Exactly. The problem is you'll find the first person really violent What do you think should be done with the kids at the border? Uh, let them into the country because they're not doing anything illegal. I don't actually want to answer your questions. I'm just super curious about what you're doing here. Oh, I just asked some questions. Oh, okay. I appreciate your answers. Sure. Very interesting. Actually, he wants you to respond exactly. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I know exactly what okay, he wants. Well, you can put it on his YouTube channel. Uh -huh. And, put this on and then I'm channel. another white American woman who just looks like crazy emotional. Oh, my Was that not what she just did, though? <laughs> yes, that is what she did. That is what she did. You got what you wanted. Got it. This <laughs> It's funny because I was just asking questions and then she got mad and then she was like, wait a minute, you're just going to try and make me look mad. It's like, I could include the whole conversation. It's not my fault. Do you like my hat? Do you, it matches your sign though. Comrade Trump. It's like the hat. We have matching hats. Why do you want Trump and Pence out now? Orange man bad. Orange man bad. <sighs> Dude's like 10. I feel bad. That's like child abuse. He's like, hey, buddy, we're bringing you out. Negative, uh, negative temperatures. You don't even know why. You're going to freeze because we're fighting fascism or something. <sighs> Sit down and read the entire Mueller report. There's no way you can support this guy. If you're why is he not being impeached because of the Mueller report then? Why is it because of the Ukraine thing? Do you think the Mueller report is a stronger case than what we're seeing with Ukraine? It shows a pattern. Uh -huh. It shows a pattern of behavior that yeah. we just can't, we just can't take anymore. So what do you think of the 2020 race? I, I love Pete Buttigieg. Do you? Yes. He's 37. He's young. He wants to bring our country together. He's rational. He's logical. He's educated. He, he's for bringing us forward with some really rational ideas. What are some of his ideas that you like? Um, I am a pro-choice woman. Okay. I believe that every woman needs to control her own body. And I heard his response to a question about that, and he just gave such a good response that every woman needs to be control of, in control of her own body. I'm also an Episcopalian. He's an Episcopalian, and he's a man of faith. And whatever he says seems like it fits. It's, it, it fits with his faith. Um, you think supporting abortion is in line with Christianity? Yes. Why is that? Um, it depends on when you think the beginning of life is. I think the biological consensus is that it uh, begins at conception. When the sperm and the uh, the egg cease to exist in the in the embryos created. So are you not going to be in favor of? I don't think the viability is a good metric to determine livelihood. Like if I was hit by a car and I was unconscious, I wouldn't be viable. But if you're going to use religion as part of that, some religions don't believe that the soul enters the body until the birth. Well, I'm only saying that because she said that his support of abortion is in line with his faith, and I just disagreed with that. It's it's in support. It's it's in line with my faith, where the the health of the woman takes precedent over the health of a fetus that isn't born yet and is completely dependent on the woman. So do you think then that abortion should only be tolerated in circumstances where the health of the mother is in danger? I think whatever a woman decides to do when she is impregnated is totally up to her and her own body. I would think that that would undermine the value of human life only because if it's a woman's choice, that would mean that at any stage of pregnancy, then she would have the choice whether or not to kill it, right? Any any man does not have a right to have any opinion on this at all because any man cannot be raped. So if I can write my opinion down and give it to her, is it more valid just because she has a uterus? Uh, no. You can't be raped. If you could be raped, if you had to be worried about your own safety and a man overpowering you, putting his penis in you and impregnating you, then you'd have a totally different opinion about it. But those only comprise like 1% of abortion cases. 
Uh, no. Well, what about no. this? What no. If we just no. uh, give all men a vasectomy, and that'll take care of the abortion issue. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think sustaining the human population is kind of... Do you know what the percentage of unplanned and unwanted pregnancies is? It's more than 1%. Oh, I'm sure they're unwanted. I just, and unplanned. Yeah, I'm sure they're unplanned, most, too. Most pregnancies are unplanned. Yeah, I yeah. just think that... Because women and men are having lots of fun having sex. Yeah. Men can walk because away, women can't. Right. And it causes a health concern for women. The only thing is, 84% of all abortion cases are for lifestyle convenience. So that could be like what you said. Where did you get that information? Where did you get that? It was actually a pro-choice institution that looked it up. No, you can look. I'm serious. You looked at the Guttmacher Institute? I'm serious. That's actually where it's from. I'm not even kidding you. And it's from the Guttmacher Institute? Yes, I, I promise you, I swear to God. 84% of what? I believe it's 84, 86%, but it's upwards of 80% of abortions are done for lifestyle convenience. And now, you might disagree what compromise is lifestyle convenience, but things like, say, I'm in college and I become pregnant, I think it's not, it's, I'm too young to have a, stuff like that, but not when she's been raped or her health is in danger. So I don't think that the life of the child should have to end because she simply doesn't feel like she's ready to have a child. Not all the children who are born who have no parents, nobody adopts. Awesome. There's hundreds about, in this town. There's over a thousand children in foster care looking for parents. But that's not because they were born and they were into the foster care system. You're that's because man. they were. Been You're a man. You can't have an opinion on. I can't have an opinion because I'm a man. Right. What if I identify as a woman? You can't get pregnant. If you that's transphobic. And ovaries, then you can have an opinion. So I can't have an opinion on it because. I, what about the nine male justices who gave women the right to have an abortion? What about their opinion on it? <laughs> I've been pregnant four Which times. Okay. I'm more when your kids were born and they were like, say, eight months old, they were still dependent on you. If you neglected them and they died, could have taken care of them. Right, but if you neglected them, when they're born, somebody else could have taken care of them. That's, so that's a case. Actually, you're making a case then for having the mother take the gestation and then giving birth and then putting it up for adoption. Where's your daddy and your mommy? Right? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them, or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump.